You know, I was thinking that after I made a bucket list for my personal and professional life, I thought about micro society and what I could do more, how I could help. So as an administrator, I said, I'm going to be part of it more, but I want to make a bucket list. So I want to always remember what George said about ask the students what they think. And I really wanted to do that. Um, my second one, I wanted to engage the quiet ones because I know that George um, said there's a place in micro for everyone and even the quiet ones. I wanted to make sure I engage them. I want to even compliment the smallest artifact or product that they make. So, uh, you know, because it's a new creation for them. I also wanted to visit and support our first year micro teachers because it's all new for them and I remember how it was in our first year six years ago. I want to do something fun, you know, and uh, usually the, the kinders uh, have something like a dance or something, so I want to learn the Cupid Shuffle with them from the kinders. I want to encourage and support our micro coordinator, Cindy. Um, she's a risk taker and she really tries to do things, and I want to encourage her and support her. I wanted to use the whole school for micro then, so that kids would know micro can happen anywhere in the school. And, you know, whatever I saw as they learned in micro, I wanted to share that wonder with, with other people, the wonder of learning in micro. And I wanted to make it a visit to every venture and even buy their products so they know I value them. And, uh, you know, with budget cuts, we weren't able to go to a micro conference uh, before, so we wanted to find a way to attend a micro conference. And that's my bucket list for micro society. No matter what they say, dreams can come true for me and for you.